All right, hey guys, PS3 Sucks here. I'm making a, a, a vlog while driving home with hanging out with Dixie Air Horror Reviews. I started making one, but the fucker called me halfway through it, so... Anyways, what I was saying is we went on a quest to get a can. We're going to do a... We're making a, a, a couple of videos called Quest for a Can, where we went to a couple of gas stations and tried to buy some dip. First, we went to... Uh, Went to a store, tried to buy a tub of Stokers, or two tubs of Stokers, and they wouldn't sell it to us because we didn't have our, or Tom didn't have his ID, and he ain't 18, so. Then we went up to another store and asked this old guy, we were like, hey man, uh, will you buy us a can of dip? And he's like, at first he was just like, nah, I can't do it. You know, um, y'all shouldn't be dipping, or he's like, you, you know, y'all you, shouldn't be dipping or whatever. And then he turned around and came back, and he was like, hey, Look, I'll get it for you because I know what it's I know what it was like to be your age, uh, and all this and I was like he's like, So what do you want? And I was like, Well, um, can I get a can of Stoker's mint? And Tom's like, I want Southern Blend and I'm like he's like, Yeah, alright, I'll be right back. And I told him that they didn't have Stokers to get me skull. A skull mint. So, um He came back out and I guess they didn't have Stokers because he got me skull mint. And uh, I got to dip into that right now, but so we can't. We're gonna put those videos out. I mean, it, it was fun. Like we just drove around, kind of looking to find, trying to find a place to buy dip. Um, I've got seven minutes to be home, and I'm about ten minutes away from home. So I don't know. I might. I don't know if I want to wrap this vlog up. I mean, I like to keep talking. You know, it gives me something to do while I'm driving. But yeah. So I mean, we went on the quest for the can. I don't know if the camera can see me or if the lighting's shitty right now, I, I couldn't check. But Quest for the Can ended up coming out to be successful this week, and I, I think we're going to make it a, uh, a series now where uh, we just go on Quest for Cans. By the way, I'm staring with my camera hand now, so... But, yeah, so Quest for the Can turned out successful this week. We might try to do it, like, once a month or something, or once, or we'll try to do it as often as possible if y'all like the videos. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, just driving around trying to get people to do it. I mean, we've only got a few more months to do it because at that point I'll be 18. So, I mean, we've got December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So we got eight more months to do it. Um, I think from today, if today's the 20th or the 21st, I don't remember, but exactly eight months from today if it's the 20th. And, uh, after, I mean, we got eight eight chances, eight months to do it, and we might do it a little bit. Well, once I'm 18, we might continue the series if I'm still doing this. I haven't looked that far ahead. And, uh... I haven't looked that far ahead into when I'm going to be making YouTube videos and shit, so... If I'm 18, I mean, we can still do it for another couple of months before Tom turns 18. We can try to send him in the store and try to get it. The first video will have no video to it, but it'll have audio because we put his phone in my front, in my shirt pocket, uh, but the camera didn't stick out. So we went in there and tried to buy a can. Um, that didn't work. And then the second store, we didn't record the can being bought because somebody else bought it for us. So we were just out in the parking lot. We made a quick update to it. I think he might edit all the videos together, uh, which I hope he does before he uploads them. Because I mean, they're it was fun doing it, and I'll do I'd, I'd be down to do it again. I mean, it being a minor and going into the store to put, try to buy dip that can be a little nerve wracking your first time because you never know if they're gonna say no or or I mean like really what's the worst they can say is say no, but I mean you just gotta look past it and be like all right whatever. You know, they said, no, big deal. Go try again later. I mean, if y'all know what racetrack is, y'all know it's a big, it's like a big gas station chain, and they'll usually ID the shit out of you. Well, I went in there a couple of times with my cousin Jake, and usually they'll, like, ID you if you uh, try to go in there. Sorry, I like this song, but they'll try to ID you if you go in there with somebody else and they're buying dip. And uh, they always ID'd him, but never me. So, I went into racetrack one time and tried to buy a can, and it worked out for me, but that's about that's about it. And then when I was staying with my aunt and uncle over the summer, they, uh, there was a, a store up the road, a little Haji store, and the dude would sell dip to me every time I walked in there. No questions asked, no ID, 
because my aunt told him, hey, if he comes in here selling dip, he's like, how old are you? And at the time, I was 16. So I'm like, yeah, I'm 16. He goes, yeah, I got you. No problem. So he put a can on the counter every time I went in there. Co Copenhagen long cut or snuff if they ran out of long cut. And uh, that's, it was like seven bucks a can, and I wasn't paying for it. So hell. Oh, my God. I got four minutes to get home, man. I got a deadline to meet. I'm about to start driving. Driving like I stole it. But, yeah, it wasn't... I mean, it's nerve-wracking going in there your first time as a miner trying to buy dip. But, I mean, if you, how are you supposed to be successful if you don't try? That's how I look at it. So, and what's the worst they can say? Like I said, they can all they can say is no. And then you're just like, all right, whatever, have a nice day. Are you really about to cut me off? But, yeah, so... That's about it. Um, they, so if you want to try it, go ahead and give it a shot. I'm not going to guarantee you that it'll work 100% every time for you, but it might work 25% of the time, and if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. I mean, sometimes you'll get in a rhythm and find the stores that they'll sell to you, and if they see you keep coming back in to buy dip, they'll recognize you after a while, and they won't ask for ID. I mean, hey, worst case scenario, first time you go in there to try to buy dip off of them, you bring your ID in there, it says you're 17. I mean, I wouldn't try to do it if I was like 14 or something, but if you're like 16, uh, maybe, or like maybe 16 to 17, go in there, bring your ID, put a 10 underneath your ID and stick it out of the ID a little bit so he can see it. Or she, depends on who it is. And if they, if they're like, yeah, and then you give them the money for the can and an extra 10 bucks. It'll work for you like that, go for it. And then the next time you go in there, see if they'll just sell it to you straight up. And if they don't, then whatever. You got a can from them once. I mean, that's how I look at it, though. But, yep. So I got two minutes to get home, and I'm about three from my house. So I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, PS3 sucks. Signing out. Peace.